the fourth picking pattern that you need to learn in the top ten picking patterns that we're going to learn how to play if you're wanting to learn to finger pick or flat pick or th use a thumb pick. Um, you can get all of those different options. I would start with the finger picking first and that will allow you to practice it at its rudimentary level. The foundational uh, pattern that would be beneficial for you um, is picking with your fingers. Then you can go on to more complex uh, options such as flat picking or thumb picking. I'd start with the fingers first. So we've talked about if you went to look back at lesson one, you can see uh, some of the different ways and how to correctly start your finger picking um, uh, positioning and how to position your fingers correctly and put your elbow on the top of the guitar. And uh, we're going to isolate the right hand first. Do not play with your left hand, meaning the chords. Don't practice those chords, just practice the right hand positioning. So the fourth pattern is going to be 4 3 2 1 3. So, like this. And then 2 1 are together, is together. So the pattern is going to be thumb one, two and three, back to one. That's the finger, the fingers you're using. Thumb one, two and three, one, thumb one, two and three, one, thumb one, two and three, one, thumb one, two and three, one. So you're going to play it like that. string pattern. And we've done this a few times, so maybe you know what's going to come next when we switch it down to the fifth string. But we're going to actually just take this four strings and move our fingers down as if we were planting them on the fifth string now. So we're going to play the same, same pattern, but it's going to be five, four, three, two, four. So one, two, three, four, one, two. And the tempo is going to be one and two and one and two and one and two and one and two and like that. So five string strings is five, four, three, two, four, three, two together. And we're going to switch to the sixth string now right here. And six, we're just moving the bass note, that's it. Six, three, two, four, six, four, three, two, four. A metronome, practice this tempo at a slow tempo that you can get it correct, and then slowly, once you can play it right ten times without messing up at that tempo, then you can improve or increase this tempo a little bit until you get all the way to the tempo that you want to be at. So back to the fifth string. Two more times. One, two, and then go to the fourth string pattern. Once you're ready with the right hand, you add the left hand. I'm going to play a D chord here. So we're going to start with the D, C, and G, our typical chords for just getting started. So add the D chord now. One, four, three, two, one together. Four, three, two, one together. Three. And we're going to play that with the four strings, bottom four strings. Okay, play it two more times to switch here to C. Five, four, three, two. Make sure your thumb is about a length of the a length of a, no. make sure your thumb is about the length of a quarter in front of your first finger, so that it's not going to conflict. You're not going to pick like this over the top of your other fingers. You want to make sure your thumb's out like this. Keep your fingers per perpendicular as much as you can to the strings. They will naturally come over a little bit because that's that's the natural pr progression of your hands to move a little bit like that. But uh, we want them to ultimately be perpendicular where they're plucking like this on the strings a little bit. So there's the fifth string pattern. And then go to the sixth string with the G right here and G six, four, three, two, four, six, four, three, two, four. Back to five string right here. Last time and switch to D, which is the 
four string pattern. fourth pattern that you've learned. This is a, it's a, a good journey to be on. You want to learn the top ten picking patterns. I think that you should learn when you want to start playing uh, picking, finger picking, or moving into any picking um, with a flat pick or uh, a thumb pick. Those are all um, really worthwhile patterns. Let me show you how it sounds if you use a thumb pick with this pattern. Let's just show you. kinds of stuff you can do um, once you get the basic finger picking down you can start using a thumb pick a flat pick and kind of add your own little creations on top of the basic pattern um, so that's the fourth pattern remember it's four let's do one more time just to make sure we remember four three two one together three four three two one together three like that four three two one together three Six, four, three, two, together. Like that. Great. So that's the basic pattern for number four. Is this pattern? Go back and practice the first, second, third, and fourth patterns if you haven't already. Before we go to the fifth pattern of the top ten picking patterns, we will capture that and practice it next week. I hope you have a great week.